change for a million in gold. <laughs> no, I drive taxis. Oh, why does gold have to be so awkward to use for everyday purchases? Hi. Oh, no. And that is why gold is garbage money. Cut! Huh? Grandma, you can't call cut. This isn't even your movie. Okay, gold is garbage money? Which one of you geniuses wrote that? Me! <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a genius, but I would yell it. I'm a genius! I was being sarcastic. But gold hasn't been used as money for a century! And it's so expensive. How can gold be good money if none of us kids can even afford it? I can afford it. Two voices live inside of me. Oh boy. Derek, <laughs> take over. The ninjas need a mini episode about gold. Sea rats. No painting of George Washington. It's just us again. Oh, yes, the turtles. Uh, sorry. I drank the seawater. Georgie, my grandkids think gold is bad money. Seeing as though you're literally on the money, what do you think? I think we should. Row, rats! Row! <laughs> Other way! <laughs> <laughs> Ever since ancient times, societies have used gold as money. Gold is valuable because it's rare and hard to mine. Fun fact, even with today's technology, only about 1% more gold can be mined each year. But if gold is good money, why don't we use it today? Oh good, bread. I'm starving. Heads up. But even a single gold coin is way too valuable to be used for shopping. One gold coin could not only buy the entire bread cart, but an entire boat full of grains. But couldn't they just divide gold into smaller practical pieces? Yeah! Ah! Oh, I see. That's why the Founding Fathers and I put our country on the gold standard. The gold standard? The gold standard. Basically, we agreed to use paper money backed by gold. Oh yeah, we learned about that. One dollar represented a dollar's worth of gold. Exactly. We never printed more paper money than the gold in our vaults. Gold gave the paper money value and protected it against inflation. But unlike gold, paper money was easy to divide. And it's worked great ever since. Hypothetically, what would keep the government from just taking us off the gold standard and printing as much paper money as they wanted? Nothing! But that would be incredibly stupid! <laughs> Inflation would rob everyone of all the value of their money! Oh, can you imagine? Uh, <laughs> yes. Bye, Georgie! Ooh. This directing. <laughs> but if gold is so expensive and hard to divide, how can it possibly be good money? One option is this. Whoa! It's called the Goldback. Real gold, finally divided into usable bills. Sponsored by Goldback. What? How? Sponsored means a company pays to have their product in this area. No, I know what that means. How did they make these? With state-of-the-art technology, gold is deposited atom by atom onto a sheet to make a gold back. Each gold back contains one one thousandth of an ounce of gold. The chemistry. Since gold bags are made from actual gold, their value rises with inflation, unlike the dollar. 
And because they're divided into such small amounts of gold, anyone can afford them. You don't have to be old to own a little gold. So a kid can own gold? And in five different amounts. That's so economical. They're great for small purchases and can be accepted by small business owners around the world. Plus, while supplies last, we'll give you a free gold back with the purchase of any graphic novel box set! Huh? Huh? May I? Go ahead. Yes! What do we want? A new director! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? A new director! Yeah! You don't pay us enough for this garbage! Here you go! Uh, what is this? Trying to buy our loyalty with stupid inflation resistant yet also divisible super convenient money? Can I have two? And one for my dog. If it weren't for you meddling raccoon! And also the lack of convenient and easily divisible gold currency. I would have gotten away with it too! And that's why justice is best served gold. Curse you dark dumpster Derek! I'm already cursed with good looks. All in a day's work for Dark Dumpster Derek. We hope you enjoyed that episode about gold and gold backs. I'm Daniel Harmon, creator of Tuttle Twins TV show, and this is Jeremy, creator of Goldback. I was a fan of Goldbacks long before the show as well. I actually bought a bundle of them when they were around a value of, I think, $2? And now they're worth over twice that, so yeah, I love them. I love the idea of using gold as a form of hard money, but gold is never able to be split into small enough pieces to be practical or affordable. Using today's technology, we can make gold small enough to actually use in a grocery store. One one thousandth of an ounce. That's way small. Super small. Yep. And very usable. It's way tougher than a dollar. <laughs> But it's not edible. My brother was the first one that introduced me to gold backs, and I thought they were so cool. First off, they're shiny and pretty. I love that. But then I went to a conference and I brought some gold backs home to give to my kids. And it was the best gift I've ever brought home from a business trip. They loved it because they finally had gold that they could have in their own piggy banks. Gold is a great form of money. Birthdays, allowance, stocking stuffers, long-term savings, tooth fairy. The tooth fairy needs to keep up with inflation already. Start paying gold for teeth. So let me raise some questions that our audience might be thinking right now. How do I know that there is one one thousandth of an ounce of gold in this guy? We actually have a third party test the golds. These are other people, these aren't us. And they'll take a sample of gold backs from every bag and they melt it down in a kiln and they can measure the exact amount of gold and authenticate it that way. Now, are gold backs catching on? How many people actually own gold backs? We believe that there's over a million people today that own gold backs. And it's been growing exponentially for about four years now. During that time, the value of gold has doubled. Impressive. It could also be that the dollar has lost half of its value during that time period. Depressing. How do you keep people from counterfeiting gold backs? For somebody to counterfeit a gold back, you're looking at about $10 million worth of equipment and about 20 years worth of experience before you can make anything that even kind of looks like a gold back. And then they gotta, you know, deal with all of our anti-counterfeiting features and all the anti-counter features that we're adding every year. Another question might be, where can I spend my gold backs? That's a great question because we really want people not just hoard them like a dragon, right? We, <laughs> we want them to go out and spend them and use them as money. And your best success for doing that is with small business owners. And we're finding that about 30 to 50 percent of small business owners are taking payment in gold. That's quite a bit. It's way higher than we thought. Last question. Let's say hypothetically that there's a bunch of wars all over the world and then there's a nuclear bomb and the grid goes down and the internet and the Federal Reserve burns to the ground. Um, can I still spend my gold bags? If you survive, sure. <laughs> okay. We've been spending gold for thousands of years. We're dealing with inflation here in the United States, but in some countries it's over a thousand percent inflation every year. <sighs> And you better believe that people are using gold in those countries. The reason why Goldback is doing this partnership with Tuttle Twins in particular is I really love your guys' mission. What you guys are doing is so important. My kids watch Tuttle Twins. In a big way, we're investing in the future. We're trying to educate the younger generations in true economic principles. Normally, we sell through precious metals dealers. The reason why I wanna do this with Tuttle Twins is because I think it'll really support the show in a meaningful way so we can get more seasons out for more people to see. Thank you. Time to make it rain? Oh yeah, heck yes, let's do this.